Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing good. So in this presentation, we are going to cover an important topic that is commonly used vaccines for different type of microbial diseases. So let's start. So you see this topic on vaccines available for different kind of microbial diseases we are going to understand or cover in these headings. Firstly, we will be talking about abbreviation for each vaccine by which that particular vaccine is very much popular. After that, we'll be talking about full form of the vaccine and the disease or diseases which could be prevented by administration of those vaccines. Now, let's start with the first one that is BCG. If we talk about BCG, then the full form of BCG is Bacillus calmeturin. And this BCG vaccine is recommended to prevent which disease? Tuberculosis, which is commonly known as TB. TB is a bacterial disease which is caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis. And if we talk about the way BCG is given to an individual, that is intradermal root. Okay. Now let's talk about the second vaccine that is OPV. OPV stands for oral polio vaccine. And if we talk about this vaccine, this is used for poliomyelitis, right? And poliomyelitis is a disease which is caused by a virus that is polio virus. And as its name is telling the root of administration of this vaccine is what? Oral, right? Now let's talk about the third vaccine that is IPV. The full form of IPV is inactivated polio vaccine. Again, it is for which disease? Poliomyelitis. And of course, the root of administration of IPV is different from OPV. It is intramuscular root or the subcutaneous root, right? Now let's talk about the next. If we talk about HAP A, the full form of HAP A is hepatitis A vaccine. And it is used against which disease? Hepatitis A. Now let's take the next one that is HAP B. HAP B stands for hepatitis B vaccine. And of course, it is used against which disease? Hepatitis B disease. Now hepatitis A and hepatitis B, both of these diseases are caused by a group of viruses called as hepatitis virus. Right. Now hepatitis A is caused by hepatitis A virus and hepatitis B is caused by hepatitis B virus. And the root of administration of hepatitis Titus A and hepatitis B vaccine is intramuscular root, right? Now let's talk about next vaccine that is DT. If we talk about DT, DT stands for diphtheria and tetanus, right? Now what kind of diseases are prevented using DT? Of course, as their name is indicating diphtheria, which is caused by Corynebacterium diphtheriae and tetanus, which is caused by Colostridium tetanii. These both are bacterial causal agent. Now let's talk about TT. The full form of TT is what? Tetanus. Toxoid, right? Disease coverage is as per its name that is tetanus. Now let's talk about the next vaccine that is DTP. DTP stands for what? Diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis. And as its name is indicating, it is used to prevent what kind of diseases? Diphtheria, which is caused by Corynebacterium diphtheri, tetanus, Colostridium tetanii, and pertussis, which is caused by Bordetella pertussis, right? And pertussis is also known as what? Whooping cuff. Now we are going to take next vaccine that is DTAP. DTAP vaccine, the full form of it is diphtheria, tetanus and acellular pertussis, right? Now, again, what kind of diseases are prevented as per their name? Diphtheria disease, tetanus disease and pertussis disease. Now, let's take the next vaccine that is TD. If we talk about TD, TD is a kind of booster dose, right? And it is for which kind of diseases? Tetanus and diphtheria. That's why its full form is tetanus and diphtheria, TD. And causal agents are again bacteria as previously we have discussed. Now, if I talk about root of administration of these vaccines, then root of administration is common, right? It is given to individuals always by, which means by intramuscular root, okay? Now, let's talk about the next vaccine that is VARVAR. It stands for what? Varicella, varicella vaccine. And of course, varicella zoster virus is known to cause which disease? Chicken pox. It means this vaccine where is giving, going to give us protection against chicken pox. Now, if we talk about root of administration, then this chicken pox vaccine or varicella vaccine is actually given by subcutaneous root. Now, let's take the next vaccine that is RV. RV stands for what? Rotavirus vaccine. And of course, it is used to prevent which disease? Rotavirus gastroenteritis. And just like polio vaccine, this rotavirus vaccine is also given by oral route. It is similar to the OPV. Now let's talk about the next vaccine that is JE. JE stands for what? Japanese encephalitis vaccine. And of course, it is going to give us protection against which disease? Japanese encephalitis disease. 
it is a viral disease which is caused by virus and if we talk about route of administration of this vaccine then it is given by intramuscular route now let's take the next vaccine that is ty21a it is known as typhoid vaccine and it is used to protect against which disease typhoid fever right and this vaccine is given by intramuscular route okay now let's talk about tap next vaccine tap stands for what typhoid paratyphoid a and b vaccine and this vaccine is used to prevent which diseases typhoid fever and paratyphoid fever right which are caused by salmonella so typhoid fever is caused by salmonella typhi and paratyphoid fever is caused by different strains of salmonella that is salmonella paratyphi a and salmonella paratyphi b and if we talk about route of administration then of course just like ty21a tap can also be given by intramuscular route or sometimes capsules of tab are also available which are given orally now let's talk about the next vaccine that is mr if we talk about mr the full form of mr is measles and rubella now what kind of diseases are prevented using this vaccine as the name is indicated by their full form measles and rubella viruses are responsible for causing the disease measles and rubella so these diseases are prevented by mr vaccine now let's talk about next vaccine that is mmr vaccine which is also very common so mmr uh, full form of mmr is measles mumps and rubella and as their name is indicating it is used to give protection against which kind of diseases measles mumps and rubella disease which is caused by the same kind of viruses now let's talk about the next mmrv if we talk about mmrv mmrv stands for again measles mumps rubella and along with that varicella right so if we talk about diseases protection so it will be give, giving us protection against what kind of diseases measles mumps rubella along with chicken pox right now next vaccine we are going to cover that is mcv4 the full form of mcv4 is meningococcal conjugate vaccine okay and this vaccine is used to prevent which disease meningococcal disease or we can say meningitis and this disease is caused by Neisseria meningitidis which is a bacterial causal agent right now let's take the next vaccine that is mpsv mpsv stands for what again meningococcal polysaccharide vaccine right and again it is for meningitis or meningococcal disease now if we talk about route of administration of these vaccines then always remember except mcv4 the route of administration of all these vaccine is subcutaneous right and if we talk about mcv4 mcv4 vaccine is given to an individual by intramuscular route right now let's talk about the next vaccine that is yf yf stands for yellow fever vaccine and of course which disease it will be preventing yellow fever right and yellow fever is caused by which causal agent virus yellow fever virus and it is given by subcutaneous route of administration exist for yellow fever or yf vaccine now let's take the next vaccine that is iiv iiv stands for inactivated influenza vaccine and inactivated influenza vaccine as its name is indicating it will be preventing which disease influenza right which is caused by influenza virus and if we talk about the route of administration of this vaccine then it is what it could be either intramuscular or it could be subcutaneous now let's take the next vaccine that is lai LAIV stands for what? LAIV stands for live attenuated influenza vaccine. Again, as its name is indicating, it is for influenza, right? And what is the route of administration of LAIV? It is somewhat different from the IIV. It is in this case the route of administration is intranasal. Let's take the next vaccine that is PCV. If we talk about PCV, then the full form of PCV is pneumococcal conjugate vaccine, right? And it is able to prevent which disease? Pneumococcal disease. or we can say pneumonia or meningitis which is caused by streptococcus pneumoniae a bacteria right and if we talk about the route of administration for this vaccine that is intramuscular now we are going to take the next vaccine that is ppsv if we talk about ppsv then always remember ppsv stands for pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine and of course it is again used to control which disease pneumococcal disease that is pneumonia or meningitis right and if we talk about the route of administration of ppsv that could be either intramuscular or it could be subcutaneous right so let's take the next vaccine now that is hib hib it stands for what haemophilus influenzae type b vaccine right and if we talk about haemophilus influenzae type b 
vaccine it is used to protect which disease of course it is used to prevent diseases caused by hemophilus influenzae type b infections right or the diseases caused by this particular bacterium now let's take the uh, next vaccine that is hpv if we talk about hpv hpv stands for what human papilloma virus vaccine right now human papilloma virus vaccine is used to treat which disease HPV related disease of course right like cervical cancer is one of the very good example under this category so if we talk about route of administration then for both of these vaccines intramuscular route is preferred right so this is all about uh, our today's video thank you so much keep watching